Hey there, my name is Mark Perrin Jones. I'm gonna show you how you can fix your own neck pain with a butter knife, or a spatula, or even a soup ladle, or maybe even a coin, all right? I am gonna show you exactly how you can do this without paying any money, anything in the kitchen that you've got, you can do it, okay? Now I'm gonna show you this has been used for thousands of years in China, Southeast Asia, all around the world. It is absolutely brilliant, it's called Gua Sha. I'm gonna show you with no cost at all how you can fix your own neck. You can go to a chiropractor and they'll do the same thing and they call it Graston Technique and they'll charge you up to $100 for treatment and you'll have to go back several, several times. You do this at home, and it'll cost you not a cent. Now, before we get onto that, if you like the video, please like it, comment, subscribe to my channel, but let's get stuck into it, and I'm gonna show you. By the way, if you really like what you see, in the box at the, at the bottom, I've got the link to my full Gua Sha course, and you can get it for that $19. So, but anyway, enough of that, let me show you what to do. All right, let's put all this stuff away. Righto, so all you need. Now in China it's called Gua Sha, but it's also known as spooning. You know those white Chinese soup spoons, porcelain spoons? Well they would use those as well. It's also known as coining, coining as well. So get yourself a silver dollar, whatever the heck you got, and then we'll show you how to do it. Righto, let me show you how to fix your own neck pain. Now by the way, it doesn't have to be neck pain, but I'm focusing on that at the moment. So let me just show you what you need to do. Get yourself a lubricant, you can use some olive oil from the kitchen, you can use some moisturizer, you can use anything, a little bit of a lubricant. If you don't have a lubricant, it doesn't matter, but it's nicer on the skin if you do. So let me show you on my arm what you need to do. All right, so simply a little bit of lubricant, all right, tiny drop there, just to make it slide a bit better, that's all you need. All right, rub that along. Okay, so let's use, uh, let's, use well, let's use a ladle. Now all you need is something that has a slightly rounded curve, okay? If it's too sharp, it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable, right? So if it's got a little bit of a rounded edge like this does, like the butter knife does, perfect. So all you need to do is, see how I'm pushing at a 45 degree angle? And you do that around about five to six inches along there. And what that will do, that'll bring up a little bit of redness, and that's exactly what you want. Because gua means sh uh, scrape, sha means redness. So you scrape to get some redness. So if you do that along there, and what this is doing is breaking up scar tissue. It's breaking up uh, tissues that have been knotted together. So that's why it's so brilliant. And it's used by sports physiotherapists, uh, exercise physiologists, all around the world, people use this on elite athletes. You're gonna be able to do it at home. So that's it, all right? And then you can go in any direction. Generally, you go along the length of the muscle, but it doesn't matter, all right? So you can just work it and what you do, you do this two to three times a day. Don't make yourself too, too sore. And oh, and by the way, if you wanna go on Amazon, this is a Gua Sha tool, like a proper one. But you don't have to, but this does the same, same deal. So let me show you how to do your own neck, okay? All right, so I'll take my shirt off, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to do your neck. This is what you wanna do two to three times a day. If you get a little bit too sore, you only need a couple of minutes, but if you get a bit sore, then back it off, maybe once a day, or you're going a bit too hard. So, a little bit of lubricant, all right? And then I'll turn around and I'll show you. So what you're going to do is go along the muscles from the base of your skull and do it like, so if you're really sore through here, for example, now don't go in the front of the throat, you've got the carotid arteries here, so you don't wanna go in front of the, this muscle here, the sternocleidomastoid. So not nowhere further in front of your ears, okay? It's too delicate through here. Right, so what should we do? Let's use a butter knife. I'm sure you've got a butter knife, all right? So nice rounded edge, lovely. Don't use the serrated area there. Wouldn't be good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn around and I'll show you, so you pause the tape, go and get yourself a kitchen tool of something, a butter knife, what have you, and I'll show you exactly what to do, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'll show you. So you'll probably see a little bit of pink coming up there. So what we're doing, work from the base of your skull down and then across here. And if you feel certain areas, I'll use something else. Measuring spoon. Why not, hey? So what you can do is get 
Uh, these knotty areas here, the levator scapulae muscle, work into that. Right, now when you get to the base of the neck here, what you want to do, little scooping movements up into the suboccipital muscles, the base of the skull. So you're not on the skull, you're just below it. I'll show you. All right, now this feels amazing, and of course it's it's getting all of these, I'm an acupuncturist, it's doing acupressure, you, you're working all these acupressure points that we would put pins in for neck pain, and you're working them with these, so you're stimulating the acupressure points. So you do that, and then you do the other side. And either hand, whatever hand's most comfortable, and you work right the way to your shoulder. Stay off the bones, because that's just uncomfortable. You can see, Super ladle. Now, by the way, you can do this on your legs, uh, whatever, and do two hand techniques like this. You got thigh pain, calf pain. Just be aware of varicose veins. Stay away from those. Um, but let me show you with the super ladle. See, I wasn't joking. Fix your neck with a soup ladle. Thought you'd never hear about it, didn't you? And so tennis elbow pain, work through here. I mean, biceps pain, you go to the gym. Yeah, obviously I don't, but if you do, you got those you know, biceps tendons start to get a bit tendonizing, get a bit, you know, pinchy. Working with this. Working with your spatula. Working with a coin. And I'm going to show you, now this, let me put a bit of cream on this, a little bit of oil. You see the pinkness coming up? That's what you want. If you go too, too much, it'll start to get like a red speckling, okay? That's what the Chinese call sha. I suggest you don't go you know, into that sort of redness uh, where it starts to come up a little, it's, it's not dangerous, it's perfectly fine. In fact, the Chinese, they want that to come up. But if you don't want to have marks, that'll stay on for two or three or four days, um, even up to a week, depending on your circulation. Um, but you could just do it just to the point of pinkness. So, but let me show you. So if you've got shoulder pain, and someone's got rotator cuff injury. So you see that? Now this will go away in a few minutes. That's a silver dollar. Doesn't have to be any coin you got, because it's called coining. So, and now by the way, in my course, I teach you how to do things for breathing problems. And so, because, this, is, this has been used a lot for health problems, not just musculoskeletal, but also it opens up your chest. You know, we, at the computer and the, the, the tablets, all the time, and all of these chest muscles get contracted, which hurts our shoulders because they get too internally rotated. So this, you can just feel your breath getting better as it opens up the chest. So you do this both sides. And you can see this pinkness coming up. That's exactly what you want. And you can do this I teach you in my Gua Sha course how to do it for, for general well-being and energy level. So you want better energy? I'll show you how to stimulate the energy points on the body, the acupressure points, stimulating those. And you can do it for headaches, everything. The acupressure point here, large intestine four, use it for headaches. I mean, it's limitless. And you don't have to spend a dime, okay? So this is what you do for your neck. Work all around the neck. A child could do it, okay? Doesn't matter what direction. I generally go down. Down's generally the best way to go down. So you can have a look at this. And it feels amazing, and you just watch your neck get so much better. You're welcome.